What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. This is the day guys. I have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra in the house and I'm going to be unboxing it and pretty much sharing with you guys my first impressions of this bad boy. I don't know if I should call it the S22 Ultra or the Note 22 Ultra. We're gonna see and dive right in what exactly, you know, we're gonna get with this device. But before I do begin, I just wanna quickly thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos and supporting the channel. And for those of you who subscribe to the channel, you guys have really made my dreams become a reality. Thank you each and every one of you. And without further delay, let's dive right in. Okay, so beforehand I went ahead and I took off the tape just because it, it'll take forever and whatever. But I also have a couple other things that I'm going to unbox in my different videos. I got the super fast wireless charging duo uh, as well as a bunch of different cases like the silicone covers as well as some leather covers for the S22 Ultra and also some other cases from ESR. So we got a bunch of videos coming, a bunch of content on the S22 Ultra, but here it is. So S22 Ultra box is really thin. It's a really small box. You're not getting like the power adapter anymore. Now the S22 Ultra does support 45 watts charging which is awesome it's not like one plus like with its 65 and 65 watts and now it comes with like 80 watts of charging but nonetheless it's still pretty fast okay so let's open this so like i said i got the one in green there we go oh oh my god there we go now this this feels really good really good in the hand it feels really comfortable and it fits snug in the hand. It's a large device. It's a 6.8 inch quad HD curved AMOLED, 120 hertz LTPO. That's a lot of things I just threw at you guys, but it's, it's a good display nonetheless. We're gonna actually see it in person too. And looking at the back of this phone, I, I, I actually like it. I actually do like it. I like how this green is like a kind of dark phantom green, but it's just called green. Um, but let's take a look. It's got the S Pen as well, but let's put this aside for now. And let's take a look at what else. Wow, literally nothing else. We got the SIM ejector tool and everything is inside this little packet right here. Um, USB-C to USB-C cable and um, just some terms and conditions and a quick start guide. And wow, that's that's really it with this box. So, I mean, let's, let's put those aside and unbox this or peel off whatever wrappers it has. So, shh, silence. That was pretty satisfying. So looking at the different camera modules, it's not like the S21 Ultra. And I actually really dig this. I think it's like, this is really just the Note has been reborn or I guess rebranded as the S22 series. But let's go ahead. There's some uh, plastic on the bottom as well as on the top, but I'll leave those there for now. So let's pull off this screen, not a screen protector, but screen cover, I guess you can say. So here we go. That was also pretty satisfying. So let's put that aside. Now it has, like I said, it has that curve. It's more boxier design. So for anyone who uses a note, you, you're going to be very familiar with this type of design. This is actually my first, if you want to call it note, whatever, but I've never owned a note device before. So I guess this is the first device that has an S Pen that I'm going to be using. I'm super excited to actually go ahead and use the S Pen. I've been accustomed to the S Pen because of my Galaxy Tab S7. I'm super excited to use it there as well. It's a pretty thick device. Um, it's matte glass back finish, really good. I don't, I mean, touching it, there's not too many fingerprints, so that's always a plus. Um, there, this camera, you know, set up a lot of people don't prefer it. I actually like how it's, you know, individual, but you gotta protect it too. So obviously put on a case, you can get lens protectors, screen protectors as well. Let's boot up this device. There we go. Or not. I mean, I'm pressing the power button, but there we go, <laughs> Samsung. Um, so it doesn't have an on display this camera like the Fold 3. They still have a front facing camera, which I personally prefer. Under display cameras, their quality is still not you know on par with what we have with normal front facing cameras. Um, I really miss OnePlus 7 Pro's um, camera module, but it is what it is. 
So there we go, welcome, start. So I'm gonna actually get this set up real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. I just can't get over the fact that this fits really snug in the hand. It's a big phone. Don't get me wrong, like it's a really large phone, but it fits really snug in the hand. I really do like it. And I'm super excited to use S Pen right here. So just looking at the menu for S Pen, I don't know, create note. Let's say, hello. Wow, this is the S Pen. Wow. This is really good. So the latency dropped from nine milliseconds to 2.8 from the Note 20 Ultra to the S22 Ultra. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and kind of get rid of that. There we go. Let's put the S Pen. Now it's not kind of color coded. So only the tip right here is color coded according to the color you get, unless you go with exclusive colors from Samsung. The rest of them are all black. Okay, so let's take a look at this display. Full brightness gets up to with direct sunlight, it's like 1750 nits. But I think you guys got to see this in person. Go to like a hands on at the uh, Samsung Experience stores at your local Best Buy or a Samsung store itself, and you'll see how bright this display gets. I really do like it. And I think displays on smartphones are probably are the most important factor in my opinion because it's the it's a part of the phone we use the most right we interact with that display the most so i think having a good visual display is one of the most important factors now let's go into camera there's obviously a bunch of new like nightography some more um features in here it's definitely upgraded but i'm um, just taking a look real quickly looking through the viewfinder it's it's not bad Definitely going to be taking the, you know, S22 Ultra, putting it to his test, doing like a camera comparison maybe, or when I do my video comparisons with other devices, I'll definitely have a camera comparison. But just, you know, this is not a huge, you know, let me put it this way. When we see this device, we know it's a note. That's right, we know it's a note. Obviously, now we're gonna kind of get used to calling this the S22 Ultra, but all in all, all, in all Samsung went ahead and kind of, fused the Note series and the Ultra of the S series and we got the S22 Ultra. Here it is. So when you see these individual camera cutouts right here, you know that you're rocking the S22 Ultra. It's definitely all in all a Note, but it has the S22 Ultra naming. So I think the Note series is obviously gone from now on, but then again, this is, this is the Note. It's a strong, really good build to it. I really, I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm super excited to use it. So stay tuned, um, subscribe if you haven't already. A lot of content is coming about the S22 Ultra, but if you guys did enjoy this quick unboxing and first impressions, be sure to superman the like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel a lot and will help push my content out to more people. Anyway, that's been it for me and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.